I did get some really good ones of the grackles, so and the crows. They're really good. They're fun to watch. I don't care for them very much. I think the grackles do what the crows do. It seems like it. They imitate because grackles aren't very smart, but crows are. Yeah, so the little I think jerks, that they but they just follow them around and for you know they need a little leadership. They do. <laughs> That's funny. I, think I see some of the snakes now, little dark spots. Ooh, where I want to see. Down by the where the all the grass and kind of like right leaves are all this, together. This goes right down. It wouldn't surprise me at all. I mean, this is Austin, you yeah. know. It is Texas still. People don't realize. Yeah, and I, when I was very very young, my dad worked on a ranch, and I saw a lot. Oh, you saw a lot of snakes. Yeah. Lots of snakes. Where I grew up, we had a lot of snakes too. Yes. I don't care for them. Not really scared of them, but I don't care. For them. Makes me nervous with all the kids that I see playing. Yeah, a lot of people seem to let their kids just go right down to the edge. It's not very. I don't know. I guess we all did it, so whatever. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I've accidentally touched snakes like more times than I can. <laughs> so, nothing ever happened to me. Yeah, I think most of the snakes around here are not poisonous, so it's probably not okay. Not the majority. But there will be some. We, that's why we have a lot of cats around here, though. Yeah. The cats, uh, they really go for the snakes. I, I love it. Cats in Austin too. Oh yeah, I know they. I'm really surprised that they haven't tried to cull the population. You know, it is a pretty surprising, especially how big on animal control this city. Oh, especially around here. Mm -hmm. We have um, like apartment cats, that's what they call them. Yeah, I mean, I live just about two miles north, on right off of Lamar, and we have about five cats in just one. Uh, yeah. I think one or two of them belong to somebody, but the rest of them, I'll just find them sleeping outside. Well, nobody owns the cats that hang out. I, I live in a little, little tiny apartment of 39th and a half. Yeah. And yeah, the cats are crazy. I don't mind though. It's just when people try to claim them. Yeah. Uh, Let the wild things be wild. Yeah, the cats don't really go for being claimed. It's funny. <laughs> then the people get mad. Right, easy food. So I got some pretty good video though of these crazy birds um, turning their heads sideways with their mouth open to cool off. It's wild. I've never seen them do that. Yeah, I've been seeing some strange behavior from some of the birds around here lately. Well, there's a lot of youngsters that are almost grown up mm -hmm. that are still trying to make their mothers feed them. <laughs> That's weird. Yeah, they, well, I think there's not enough food. There's not enough bugs around. Yeah, I mean, with the heat and I mean, it's the city. Yeah, but you would think with the water right here that it wouldn't be a problem. It's amazing. Even the squirrels are digging way deep down looking for stuff. Yeah. Wild. Okay, birds. Oh, there's a pigeon. Two of them. Come on, fat pigeons. One of them I actually thought was a turkey for a minute. It's so big. Wow. I mean, it's huge. 